Hey guys, it's Sophia. Welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited for today's video because I thought it would be fun to see what would Frankenstein's monster look like if it was pinup. So this is my take on it. It took me forever. It was so fun. But if you want to see how I did it, just keep on watching. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I already have where I want my scar lines to be. I kind of want them sporadic because I want it to be like as if it's pieced together. I don't want everything to be completely green. So I'm going to take my white face makeup. I'm just going to put it on this little pan to make life so much easier. And I am going to get my green face paint and I'm going to mix those together to make a light green Frankenstein-y type color. All right, so right now I just have this really light green color and I'm just going to put this, I'm going to put this over here. All right, so now I'm just going to color in the rest. This green's just slightly darker than the other one. I might want to do an even darker one over here. I just think it's fun to do different greens. So now I'm just going to add a little more depth with these greens. So I'm just going to kind of add like a little bit of a darker green and kind of like contour a little bit. All right, so right now I look really funky, but once we start doing everything, everything's going to start coming together. So now for foundation, I'm going in with my it's CC cream and I'm just gonna put this on these areas of my face just because I've been breaking out a little bit so I kind of want to have that like perfect complexion all right so once I have gotten that I'm gonna go in with a translucent powder and I'm just going to set everything lightly I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm going to lightly pat this everywhere this is just gonna make life easier because i'm going to be contouring a little bit with some powders so now that everything said i'm just gonna go in with a red face paint and i honestly use paint brushes when i use face paint and i'm just going to go over where those white lines were Right, so now that I have those red lines, I'm going to go over them with this red from the James Charles palette in You're Kidding. And I'm just going to go in with a small brush and just kind of go over those red lines. So I'm almost like I'm setting it, but also giving some definition. All right, so now to give my face a little more definition, I'm going to be using these two greens from the James Charles palette just to add a little more depth and shading around those lines. All right, and now to add even more definition, I'm going to be going in with some gray cool tones. I'm going to be using some of this, maybe a little bit of this around where more of my actual skin tone is showing. And now I'm just going to take that darker gray and put it right over where all the red is. All right, so now I'm going to take some black cream makeup. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my tray. And now I'm going to do the, the stitch lines that are connecting the two colors together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a dot and then some lines. So 
So I'm just gonna finish adding these stitches to my face and I will be right back. So now I have all my stitching done. I also just went in with that cool gray and just added it around my little stitch holes just to add a little more definition. So now we can start on the eyes. So I'm just gonna go on my NYX white eyeshadow primer base and I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelids. Oh, I wanted my eyebrows, duh. <laughs> so before I do my eyeshadow, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now being this is a pinup Frankenstein, I'm going to do my eyebrows more in a 1950s pinup shape. I'm gonna go in with a, I'm gonna go with my Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia, and this is in the shade Auburn. So I'm just gonna kinda use this as a base and then I'm gonna darken it with eyeshadow because we are a monster, so. I want darker eyebrows. <laughs> so now finally we can start doing the eyes. So being that I have this green, I feel like purple would be really fun. So I am going to do a purplish pin up -y look. So for a normal pin up, you would do more neutral tones, but because we are a monster and it's Halloween, I want to have fun. So I'm going to do more of a purple pin up eyeshadow look. Right, so the first color that I'm going to use is from my Sleeping Beauty palette. It is this light purple right here, and I'm going to put this all over my entire eye, all the way up to my brow. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with my Pumpkin Spice palette from Too Faced, and I love this because it smells like pumpkin spice. So I'm gonna go in with this dark purple shade right here called Spice of Life. And I'm just gonna use the same brush. And this I'm gonna use in my crease. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with that same purple from my Sleeping Beauty palette and I'm going to put this on my lid. So now I'm going back to the Pumpkin Spice palette and I'm gonna go in the shade Whipped Cream right here and I'm gonna put this right on top of the purple on my lid. And now I'm gonna go in with a more defined brush and I'm gonna go back into the darker purple and just put this in my crease. All right, so now that we have our shadow on, I'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner, and this is by the brand Suva, I believe. And this is a hydro liner. I really wanna try this, so that's why I'm also trying it now. So this is activated by, I'm gonna use water. All right, so I have this on my brush, and now I'm going to just do a winged Eyeliner. Oh, this is so pigmented. Oh my god, okay. So now that I have my winged eyeliner on, I'm going to go back in with the lighter purple and I am going to just put this under my eye. So now I'm going to take my white eyeliner and just put this in my waterline. So because this is pinup, or at least how I would do my pinup, I am going to extend some white eyeliner. Actually, you know what would be better if I use the white face paint. I'm a genius. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this white face paint and just add it to the outer. Part of my eye. All right, so now that I have my eyeliner and white eyeliner on, I'm gonna put on mascara and then I'm gonna put my lashes on and I will be right back. I just finished doing my mascara, my eyelashes. I also went ahead with doing my neck only because I feel like my eyelashes would have gotten in the way if I would have waited. So we are almost done. The mess around me is insane, but I'll 
worry about that later. So now I want to go in with blush. I'm going to do a really bright pink blush only because I think it would be fun and add to that like pinuppy. I don't even know. I just think it would be fun to have a little bright pink on my cheek or my one cheek. I can't even do my other cheek because I have my stitches all on the other side. All right, so for my cheek, I'm gonna go in with a nice hot pink blush. This is by Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Hot and Bothered. So I'm really just gonna pack this on right now and I'm gonna put it right on the apple of my cheek. It's definitely gonna be hard to see because of the green, but I want just a little bit of pink on my cheek. I don't know what that was. So we are finally at the end and it's time for lips. Now a pinup look would not be complete without a red lip. I'm not really feeling a bright red lip. I'm kind of feeling more of a darker lip. And even though it was in black and white, I'm kind of channeling that like Bride of Frankenstein with Elsa Lancaster and that dark lip. Um, I don't know if it was black that they used or a really dark red but I don't know why I'm kind of getting those vibes so I'm gonna go in with a nice deep blood red so I'm just gonna line my lips right now with Ruby Woo by MAC all right so now I'm gonna go in with this brick red kind of lip liner. I don't know what brand this is, but I'm just going to put this on the outer corner of my lips. All right, so now I'm gonna fill in my lips with Victoria by Kylie Cosmetics. So I really was gonna make it darker um, by adding a different lipstick on top, but I kind of like this color a lot. All right, all right, so being that I like this color that I just created, I'm gonna top it with this lip gloss by um, ColourPop from their Villains Collection, and this is in the shade Bad Apple. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. Oh my god, I am like obsessed with this lip color. All right, so this is the finished look. This took me so many hours, but I did it and we're done. And I also created a huge mess around me, but I'm not gonna think about it right now because I just am obsessed with this look right now. This is my version of if Frankenstein's monster was pinup. I forgot how much I love doing these type of looks because it's been a while since I've done like a really creative makeup like this with like face paints but I had so much fun it took me so many hours and I created a huge mess but doesn't matter because I am just obsessed with this right now all right so that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time bye